Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Rockland. Today on Passport Kings, I'm going to go over how to get your global entry so you don't have to wait on the lines at the airport anymore. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe making videos and recommending destinations. Join me so we can discover, preview, and book your next vacation. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. Do you want to just go through the airport quickly without the hassle of lines? If yes, you need Global Entry. The process of obtaining this benefit is usually painless and the service will exceed your expectations. And from the moment of approval on, you will be in and out of customs in minutes instead of what seems like days. Here are five steps to help you understand what it is and how Global Entry can be the best investment you've ever made. Number one, what to expect in your interview. Once you've paid and completed the application, the interview comes next. Make sure to arrive on time and bring a printout of your letter of conditional approval, a valid passport or permanent resident card, evidence of residency such as a driver's license with your current address, a mortgage statement, utility bill, etc. If things seem to be backed up and your scheduled interview time seems like forever away, you can always try walking in. Many people have had success showing up for an interview without an appointment. Once you're there, you may have to wait a bit because if the customs or border protection officers are busy, they're not going to drop what they're doing to come talk to you. But you'll wait about 15 to 20 minutes for the interview, and during that interview, expect to be questioned about your application. The officers are usually friendly and professional, and they'll just ask to see your conditional approval letter, passport, and driver's license. Then they'll ask you to confirm some of the countries you've visited, and if you've been to each of those countries for business or leisure, and then they'll just fingerprint you. And then a few minutes later, they'll tell you that you are confirmed for global entry and that you will receive your card within 7 to 10 days. Then you'll be given a known traveler number so that you can enter it in your frequent flyer profile and hopefully be eligible for TSA pre-check. And just make sure you register your card in your goals account within 30 days of receiving it. But you don't necessarily need to pass it through global entry kiosks. And sometimes they'll even give you kiosk training so they can make sure that you can do it on your own. Number two, how to use the kiosk. Once you've been approved, Global Entry is one of the best things that you'll ever do. You can just head towards the line that says Global Entry when you arrive at immigration. Approach the little machine and use your fingerprints to identify yourself. Then you just answer a couple of questions and take your photo. Then you go to baggage claim. You know what, you don't even need your Global Entry card to go through Global Entry kiosk in the US. But when you're in other countries, you may just need it, so I would say always have it with you. This episode is brought to you by what used to be called travel hacking, but is correctly named award stacking. Save thousands of dollars on flights while rapidly improving your credit. Personally, this system has changed my travel life. Right now, the system is over 50% off. Click the link above and start traveling nonstop for so much less. Number three, you'll get a TSA pre-check with Global Entry. Entering your KTN in your frequent flyer profile should ensure you that you're eligible for TSA pre-check. Hardly anyone is declined pre-check after they got Global Entry. Number four, you don't have to be a U.S. citizen to get Global Entry. Global Entry service is actually available to more than just U.S. citizens and permanent residents. I mean, citizens of Germany, Switzerland, Mexico, the Netherlands, Panama, South India, Colombia, Singapore, and the UK are eligible. And Canadians are also eligible for global entry benefits through the Nexus program. So just check out the requirements and information on the page inside my description below. If you're a US citizen thinking about getting global entry and you visit Canada often, you may want to consider getting Nexus so you can also have expedited customs there. Clearing Canadian customs and immigration usually takes a long while. They're really picky up there. So this would save you a lot of time. Nexus is actually cheaper than global entry and once you have it, you also get global entry and TSA pre-check. The only downside is you would have to go through the entire enrollment along the Canadian border. All right, and number five is the loophole of how to get it for free. 
You can apply for global entry and pay $100 non-refundable application fee. You'll then need to schedule and complete an interview. However, before throwing down cash, you can get all of your money back with one of the Chase cards, the Citibank Advantage cards, and the Ritz-Carlton Rewards cards. Even American Express or the Barclay card, Aviator Silver. Additionally, most of the credit cards that offer an application fee waiver, they also let you buy global entry for someone else. So if you know someone with the unused credit on their American Express Platinum, for example, they can charge the fee to your global entry renewal and it will be rebated onto their account. Yo, when I'm abroad, I put a lot of pictures up on Instagram at Passport King. When you see those pictures, please feel free to ask me any questions about the location that I'm in. Hopefully I'll be able to answer those questions in the video I make about that destination. Subscribe now for future travel videos and thanks for watching. So like I said, once you use Global Entry, you will never go back. Being able to skip the lines, and I mean long lines, is worth every penny of that $100 that they'll charge you. So yo, never again wait on those long lines just to get through customs. Once you have Global Entry, you'll be able to walk through and breeze through like a king, a passport king. Beep.